I'm with Mark Strauss uh, from Bethel Seminary in San Diego, California, and what we're going to talk about today is the Gospels, and, and in particular the general reliability of the Gospels. Now, when we talk about the Gospels, a lot of times when I'm interacting with students and people, they're interacting with people who uh, who don't trust the Gospels, mm, don't believe yeah, the Gospels, yeah. say they're, whether, there's all these contradiction, contradictions in them, and, and they say you, you shouldn't really believe in them. How, how would you go about, as far as advising someone who's not a PhD sure. in New Testament, sure. to start with someone who, who has these struggles or have, have these skepticisms. Sure, and we as Christians often talk about the infallibility or inerrancy, inerrancy of Scripture, that it is God's perfect revelation and so forth. But you're not going to get very far if you start with that with many people because they, they're looking at these documents as, as just historical documents. Mm -hmm. And then they, they would challenge them and say, are they even reliable as historical documents? So I think from an apologetic perspective, we need to think in terms of, can we demonstrate the general reliability? Are these good historians? Mm -hmm. Some people have said they're not historians at all. They're propagandists. You know, they're just trying to promote their perspective or they're theologians with an, with an agenda. So is it possible to demonstrate the general reliability of these yeah. gospels? Yeah, and I think you're, you're bringing out an important distinction just in strategy when we're talking Absol about apologetics. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and it's. And it, what, what you brought up is saying, okay, this is something we believe. We believe in the infallibility. We believe in uh, when the Bible speaks, it speaks truly. And that's, and that's very important uh, for us as Christians. Yet, on the other hand, you're saying, where do we start with, where do we start with skeptics? Where do we start with people we're, we're, we're dealing with uh, we're, that we're trying to help? And so what we're going to do is uh, come back in just a second, and we're going to tell you some, some more of these specific ways that the Bible is reliable and how you could help a friend.